Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and update the example we've already looked at with a search path and a query string just inside of here. Let's go ahead and return this back to the URL variable that we were using earlier. And let's var dump this URL out and give this a refresh. And you can see we've got a ton more information in here. So as well as the scheme and host, we've got the path in here, which is slash search. And we've also got the full query string as well in here if we needed to read from that. Now, if we didn't have that information, or rather if that information was optional and we wanted to read, say, the query string, then we can go ahead and add it in, into here. So let's say query, and we'll assign that to a variable query. Let's dump the query out here as well. And actually, let's go ahead and just add in a really simple query string back into here. Obviously, with this, what we'll get is the host and the query string because we know that we're just structuring this from the array that's returned with parse URL. But let's say someone then goes ahead and submits a URL in a form or wherever, wherever you're reading this value from without the query string. What do you think is going to happen? Well, let's go over and give that a refresh. You can see pretty much like what happens when we try and destructure something in the same way as we destructure a numerical array with an associative array we get an undefined index query. And just to remind you, if we try and do this with host and query without providing them values we're uh, trying to grab, we get a kind of similar thing, undefined offset zero and one. So essentially what it's saying is that we can't find this particular key inside of here, undefined index query. How do we get around that? Well, this is the warning. And in the next part, we're gonna discuss how we can fix this up in a nice, elegant way.